Hi, I'm Phil Kelly, and I'm going to be delivering this briefing for the skaters simulation. It's difficult to learn about management from a textbook alone, or from case studies. Whilst textbooks and articles can help us understand management to some extent, many management and teaching and learning scholars argue that we can also learn by doing. Business simulations help you learn by doing. They allow role play and can present many business challenges that allow you to put theory into practice. To help you understand management, we have created three related learning resources. The purpose of this presentation is to outline them, focusing on the simulation in particular. This video presentation is therefore an introduction to the simulation. There are several further video presentations available from the Skaters website. The Management Theory and Practice textbook is a source of management knowledge that can be used to explain workplace events and challenges. It can also be used to help with management problem solving and improving organisations. The textbook contains vignettes, chapter questions and has a case study running through it to help management students consider how they would apply this knowledge. There are also other management skill sheets that take a more practical focus. The case study is about a skateboarding organisation, skaters, and this is used to present a rich set of management challenges to the reader. In order to make the skater's case more lifelike, there are two additional resources that complement the textbook. There is the skater's website, skaters.com, and the skater's simulation software, which can be downloaded from the website. Collectively, these three resources can be used to enhance learning about management, and we'll introduce the simulation here. The skater's case study is explained at the beginning of part two of the book on page 183. The case study is further developed in subsequent sections. We advise you read page 183 through to 185 as a minimum before contemplating the simulation. You will learn more and get more from this learning experience the more you improve and immerse yourself in it. This may mean treating the skater's organisation and your adopted role within it as real, at least for now, whilst you are studying. The simulation takes place in two key stages. The first is focused on the skater's core business processes and can be viewed as a collection of operational tasks and activities. And the second involves managerial decision making. The operational activities in stage one involve processing and fulfilling customer sales orders, procuring and producing goods, along with one or two other operational tasks that you undertake as a management team. The team tasks may be completed by a group or by an individual, and the tasks may be done with or without the involvement of a tutor. Tasks are typically presented as emails to specific skaters' roles, such as sales or accounts, etc., and are completed in two or three hours. However, simulation time runs faster than real time, and one hour of real time typically equates to a day in the skaters' environment. This means that delays in supply and production can be simulated. When stage one ends, you must imagine that the second year of operations has come to an end and you will be presented with data to support this. This rich data set can be used to explore many business challenges. During the simulation, your primary management task is to imagine you are a manager in the organisation and will be seeking to understand and analyse a range of business problems, wishing to make improvement recommendations for both the short and long term. Before you start the simulation, you will need to decide whether you are going to undertake it by yourself or as a member of a group and therefore part of a management team. Whichever you decide, you will do the same simulation, but if you are undertaking it as a group, you will role play and therefore complete parts of the simulation. If you are undertaking it on your own, then you'll need to do all of the tasks yourself. Once you have decided the simulation mode, i.e. individual or group, you will then need to make arrangements to download the software and determine where and when to complete the simulation stage one. You will need to run the simulation on a computer that has Microsoft Access loaded. Advice on how to download and configure the simulation software can be found on the skater's website in the download section. Once you have started the simulation, the skater's clock starts and the simulation activities and emails begin. Some hours later, you will have completed all of the tasks and will be presented with the end of simulation stage one form. From this, you can download all of the data you need to analyze what is going on in the company. Later, you can go back into the simulation software through the manager interface. Once you have done everything, you will need to make sense of your experience and read more in the management theory and practice textbook. There is advice on how to reflect on this experience on the skaters website. 
We hope that you enjoy it and that it helps you learn more about management in practice. That is pretty much everything we wanted to cover in this presentation. Hopefully you now have a better understanding of what the simulation involves and how to make the most of it as a learning experience. Do remember to use all three of our teaching resources, the book, Skater's website and Business Simulation to help you learn about management. Good luck.